It's a trick. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and um, someone decided they wanted to fight. So let's show them why that's a bad idea. Ah, oh, man, this is a... Uh, I was gonna say overkill, but we act we're actually four levels under here, so... I don't know. I don't know if it... This might not even one-shot. Snowscape, it's already snowing. <laughs> Come on. Let's go Terra Blast. Ooh, that's neat looking. Uh, let's do it again. Thrash. Not very effective. Still did a decent amount of damage, though. Robopix does not have a ton of physical defense. Alrighty. Good stuff. Okay, anywho, uh, now that we're done being attacked by a bear, uh, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center because... I want to get my terrestrialization back. Because in scenarios like that, uh, it makes things a lot easier to be able to terrestrialize. Although honestly, in this area, the fact that we have both Inuyasha and Fuegon means that we're pretty much set to fight any wild Pokemon. Because <laughs> all the Pokemon here are... Pretty much all the Pokemon in this area are weak to fire. <laughs> so... Fight this guy. Courier fan, yes. Xavier the Courier fan. Staraptor. We do have a counter for this. It's probably not going for close combat based on the fact that we're fairy type. So, uh, yep, you're up. No, Endeavor. That's annoying, but we have leftovers, so we kind of don't have to deal with it. Uh, rock slide. There we go. Easy peasy. Good. Good levels. All right, uh, we'll heal you. Might not need to, but we will. Mm, trying to see if I can BLJ up to the top anywhere. I think I can do a little bit of BLJing here. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, okay, all right. Hold on, gotta maybe do it at a slightly different angle or different spot, but we got this. Okay, yep. Made it to this little plateau here. And... Okay, who are we fighting? A Sneasel? Oh, perfect. Oh, kind of perfect. Hopefully it doesn't Metal Claws, but Ooh, there it is. Okay, that did 42. So crit would kill at this point, but not gonna get the chance. Oh wait, no, crit wouldn't kill. Thought we had less health, but now we're good. No, no, no. Go right on, you were supposed to land there, not just kind of float next to the wall. Wee. Uh, good old BLJs. Almost missed them, you know? In Violet, now that we have the climb ability there, it's... You don't really need to BLJ as much, but it's kind of fun to do. Just kind of... 
That being said, don't think we can BLJ up this area. Just kind of gradually picking things up along the way. Stop it. Okay. Well, this goes up. So that's pretty neat. A bunch of ghost dogs just popping up everywhere. That's the other thing is like, there's a bunch of ice types, there's some steel types, but also there's ghost types, which means you know, Dark and Ghost are also good here. Uh, what? Hey, look, it's Ponta Novera. Hey, what's up? I don't think I fought you in Violet. Interesting. Let's see what you got. Poltygeist. Yeah, I don't think I fought you. <laughs> so don't remember fighting a Poltygeist here. Uh, but we should be fine, I think. It's just a regular old ghost type, I believe. Drop your special attack. Perfect. Good to know you were going for a special attack. I think Moonblast still kills here. Close. Sweet scent. Pretty much a useless move. And finish you with a Pollen Puff. Sucker Punch does nothing. Fairy type. Also, I don't think you have that much attack. There we go. Dynamic angles. Dun Dun Sparse. Normal type. I think we're okay. I might have Poison Tail. Or Iron Tail. I think we're all right. Two of those kills. Boost. Okay, that's fine. I'll hit you again. I'm okay with that. Whip. Yawn. Annoying, but manageable. There we go. Got it. We don't even fall asleep because it's the end of the battle. God, it's satisfying to have a Pokemon level up. Like nearly every battle. Like Robopix is doing. Does Robopix get, have a faster experience curve than most Pokemon? Or is it just the fact that it she's traded and has a lucky egg? She is leveling real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, go. I want to get to the peak. I want to get to the peak. I don't think I can get there directly from here. But we can certainly get closer. Oh, hi. Did not mean to run into you, but that's fine. Yeah, see, now Robopix is on par with the wild Pokemon here. Good. Good. Alright. Alright, alright. Avoid the Bronzong. Uh, yeah, see, this looks like BLJ territory. Or I could just run up it, I guess. Never mind. We just run. Wait, 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 wait. Hello, cryogonal. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. What if I got over here? Is this? No, no this isn't too steep. Just a little ridge here. Come on. Okay. 
do need to BLJ up this last part, I guess. Hey, we made it to the top. And we got a mint for it. All right, so now that we are up here at the very highest point in Paldia, let's analyze our way down. So we came this way. I kind of, the idea for me was kind of to do a spiral motion on the way down, which I think we can do more or less. Yeah, don't run into the steel types. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So starting, I think starting here. Well. Yeah, yeah, we'll explore this area. Doesn't look like there's anything here, aside from this icy rock. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go, we'll go here, because this is the next highest place. Okay, I guess I'll just have a look around this cool peak here. Have a peek around the peak. If you know what I mean. I don't know if this is actually any better than <laughs> what Scout did, but uh, it's, it's interesting. At least, uh, worth a shot, I think. Uh, so from here, where do we go? We're spiraling around, then that means going this way, I think. Like, I feel like. Yeah. What? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Huh? I feel like there's more up here. Maybe. Did we come through this area to get up there? No, we went up that ridge there. So this is technically a new area. Um. So I just wanna just wanna look around up here, you know. There's a trainer down there who we will undoubtedly fight. Oh yeah, right, on top of that is an item, and definitely... Oh, we're gonna have to glide to get there, aren't we? Because we don't have climb. Rock climb, as it were. Okay, stop sliding! It was, it was funny for the first second, but then you just kept going. Ugh. Some people, they just... Okay, alright, alright, uh, alright, cool. Just take the joke too far, you know. I want to get on top of there. Because I know there's an item there. I remember. From the report. Yes, yes, it's right there. Son of a... I'm gonna have to do that again. All right, fine. All right, fine. All right, fine. Do it again. Do it again. It's not that hard or anything. It's not, not even difficult in the slightest. Stop sliding! This would be easier with the climb ability. But, uh, it's fine. That is, that is kind of the one reason I wanted to do the Dragon Titan first before I did the mountain. Because, you know, climbing would have been nice. 
And honestly, if I had known what the Dragon Titan gave, I probably would have done that before. But far I stop sliding off. Uh, damn it. I would have done it before the fighting crew as well. Because that area would have been a lot easier to explore with climb. No, 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 no. Okay. Stop. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's just a temporary setback. What? Why are you even. No, no. Oh my god. I don't even remember if. It's worth all this hassle <laughs> just to get that DM, but I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it. Look, the wind's at my back. I can't fail. Maybe I should land backwards. Maybe that would help. If I went like like that. I don't think I'm quite on. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Got it. Just a light little jump. No. Mother fucker. <sighs> there is a surface to stand on next to that TM, right? Like, you can, you can stand next to it to pick it up. Because, I mean, clearly I picked it up in Violet, but... Okay, try it again. Okay, here we go. Just, just don't go too far. Just right there, okay. Just. There it is, okay. <laughs> It was fly, right? I remember making a comment about that. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was worth it. But hey, look, a trainer to fight. <laughs> oh man, Anna the Dragon Tamer. Just perfect for us because we're using a fairy type. For some reason, I kind of thought she had a. Uh, Arctabax. Not the case. It's Dragon here instead. If it was Arctabax, we could pull some fun stuff with terrestrializing and but yeah. No. In this case it's just a moon blast. We're done. Okay, let me just double check. I know I was up here a billion times, but double check that there's no items around here up on this ledge uh, maybe over here might be aha uh -huh. found something that's the ridge we climbed earlier so I don't need to check that oh speaking of arctabacks uh, or should I say Artifax? Because, you know, when people say... The, the way it's actually spelled, if I remember correctly, is it's the Arctic and the Antarctic. But people don't say that. <laughs> people say, at least... I don't know if it's an American thing or not, but... I definitely say Arctic and Antarctic. So... <laughs> Like, I'd like to, I'd like to say that I say it correctly, but the way it's spelled, I say, say it correctly is a subjective thing. The way it's spelled is what I mean. 
correct speech is kind of a... It's, it's, it's really subjective. I mean, there is no one correct accent or dialect in a language. That's just how language works. Um, 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 um. Yes, it is a question in my head how best to proceed from here. Uh, there was a trainer that we ignored, wasn't there? Oh yeah, down there. I guess I'll take this path down. It's hard to figure out when to follow the path and when to not. Hey. Right, he's got a Tauros. Which should be fine for us. Surprisingly, Robopix is turning out to be pretty good for this area too. Because I guess dragons and fighting types and dark types. Mostly for the trainers, but... Headbutt? It's gonna hurt a little. Yeah. Okay, cool. Love the flinch. Ow. Not very effective. Okay. God. Good stuff. I still don't know how the how to change the types on Tauros. Or like if you if you're just supposed to catch different types of Tauros, I don't I don't know how it works. Which is interesting considering uh, I've pretty much I've almost beaten the game in Violet. So like you would think you would think at that point they'd have made it obvious, but I guess not. I don't know, maybe it's in Maybe it's in, like, Tauros's ability or something. Uh, uh, oh, right up there. Not really doing much of a spiral, am I? I'm just kind of working my way from high to low. What? Uh, what? Hold on. this and do this we're gonna glide over here because I think this is an area that we haven't looked at yet I think maybe it's not Hold on oh yep nope we have not looked at this area yet Delver parcel to meet Oh look, a fighting guy. How lucky for us to have a fairy type in front. Three gym badges, but I failed the interview. Yeah, you need eight. <laughs> They're not gonna pass you without eight. They don't tell you that, but it's, that's, that's how it works. Also only having three gym badges and be, having a level 35. Should probably, probably have more at this point. You can definitely take on a few more gyms. So yeah, maybe get on that. And maybe catch a few more Pokemon. Because, uh... That was kind of easy. Uh, but hey, you could probably take Kofu with that one. And maybe, maybe Larry. Uh, yeah, you know what? You'd probably be able to take out Larry with just the Palmot. Because, like, Larry's ace is... Uh, is Staraptor, right? And normally the problem with fighting types in that position is that, oh, the Staraptor is going to hit you with a flying move. But if... In Palmot's case, you're actually not weak to flying, because electric type. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, 
Ah, I didn't mean to run into you. And you're poison type. I don't think we actually want to fight you. We don't have anything to do to you. So let's swap to Fuegon would be kind of risky. Uh, Inuyasha. I mean, not that risky considering the level difference, but... Inuyasha is probably the safest bet. Ah, uh, yeah, Dark Pulse. That would have been... I mean, it probably wouldn't have killed Fuegon, but... It would have been... Risky. As said before. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, I think we pretty much explored that area before, didn't we? Uh, do I have enough battles? Uh, 20 trainers, yep. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, uh, yeah, we could use a heal. Let's do it. Very good. Love to see it. Alright. Um, oh yeah, I guess we could go down through this way, which is something we didn't do. Uh, what? I guess... Or maybe we did, because I feel like there should be items here. Okay, and then we did fight that guy, so. Alrighty, um, why does it feel like I'm missing stuff up here? We've already been up here, right? Yeah, we've definitely been up here before. Or maybe not. Yeah, no, we, 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 we have, we have, okay. We're good, we're good. Uh, however, this area is somewhat new. I was mostly right in Violet when I said that you could probably just get around this place with BLJs. And actually, in reality, you can actually get around it mostly just by running. And then BLJs kind of make up the difference for not having the climb ability. I don't know why I'm still going up. I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything to... Yeah, we, we don't need to go <laughs> up there again. Uh, well. Let's see. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. I guess we'll get the area around Montanavera. I did hear an alternate pronunciation. I guess it could be Montanavera, but I don't know. The way I've been saying it kind of sounds better to me. It's just my personal opinion, though. Do you fight that guy? I want to get up there. That's where I want to go next. There's an item there. You know, that's a thing in older Pokemon games, particularly the ones that were more top down, you know, before seventh gen, basically. But I mean, it also exists in this gen, too, but it exists in all the gens. But uh, one thing that I don't think everyone realized you could do in older Pokemon games is you can turn without moving. If you just tap the direction real quick, like I can do it here as well. But yeah, in, in older Pokemon games, when you're like standing in grass, that actually counted as a step. So you could get an encounter if you just change direction without moving. I don't think it's not it's not something that's super obvious, I don't think. So I don't think a lot of people knew it, knew that. Hey, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not as relevant here. Actually, it might be more relevant here because specifically because of the BLJ in this game, the fact that you can turn around without moving 
is actually very good. Because that's what made me think of it is I was standing in a position where if I had moved in one direction or the other, I would actually have started sliding probably further than where I was standing. So the fact that I was able to turn instantly meant that I could, in fact, do the BLJ without risking sliding. But hey, maybe we'll do some more sliding next time. Because uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. You know, it does feel good to be doing longer episodes.